Hello, and welcome back to Danny's to Talk. I am your host, Robert, and today I am joined by a very awesome guest, my oldest daughter, Janae. Hi, guys. Yay. <laughs> so, um, Janae is here for some very awesome reasons. Um, she actually wanted to do the podcast to talk about her track stuff. So, Miss Janae here is going to be going to state for two events this year. She is going to be going for the 800. Yeah. She is going to be going for the 800 meter uh, for 12 and under, which she is the champion. So she is the champion of our region up here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. So big congratulations on that. <laughs> And she also got fifth in the 400 meter race. So she'll be going, we'll be going down later in the month to compete in states for this. Now, for those of you that are new here or that haven't been to my previous podcast, we have been doing this stuff for a very, very long time. Like uh, 2005? Yes. Yes. So... Janae is currently 11, um, so that's why she runs in the 12 and under group, but she's been running since she was about five, so been going for almost six years strong, uh, and she has put in lots of awesome work and done lots of great things, and so this will actually be her her second time going to state, because two years ago... In 2019, when she was nine, <laughs> Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. When when she was nine, she went to state back then as well for same thing. Oops, first place in the hundred meter. So, so she is a two-time regional champion in the 800 meter. So, very awesome accomplishments. You want to close those? Um, okay, so very awesome, very proud of her. Like I said, she, she's she been doing this for a long time, so doesn't get to wear all these shiny medals um, <laughs> without lots of hard work and lots of, you know, lots of time and practices put into, into doing this. So we're just going to talk a little bit, you know, with Janae on her experiences and stuff. So. Uh, so yeah, so how, first of all, I guess, like, how do you feel getting to go to state again? Awesome. Awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, like I, like, like, like I mentioned earlier, you know, we got to, we did this two years ago. And so it sucks that, you know, last year with COVID and stuff happening, obviously, you know, there was no track, no sports really, period. So we pretty much lost a whole year, but luckily, you know, even, even having a year off, you know, she came back and put in lots of work. You know, we have uh, very awesome coaches that help coach her. She's had pretty much the same coaches since she started. So, you know, shout out to Coach Matt, Coach Tyson. Coach Mike. Coach Mike. Coach Rodney. And Coach Rodney. So, yeah, so all, all of them are very awesome. And like I said, they... They've known us, like I said, since she started six years ago. So, yeah. Um, so, I guess, okay, so question. So, when, when you first started doing track, did you like it immediately? Or did it take you a while to, to start liking it? It took me a while. It took you a while. Uh, how, how, how long do you feel it? Or when do you think was the moment where you were like, okay, I like doing this? I think since I was eight. Since you were about eight. Yeah. Okay. What? 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 Uh, do you? Uh, was there anything specific that happened that made you like it, or are you just like, eh, I think I like this? Mm. I think that I just liked it. Okay. I ain't nothing wrong with that, cause you know, some sometimes, you know, some sometimes when you are doing. Any type of thing, you know, especially sports, you know, sometimes it, 
takes a while, you know, for somebody to like really understand like, okay, I am good at what I'm doing. I like what I'm doing. Cause you know, e even back when I was a kid and when I was doing uh, cross country in high school, you know, I, I kind of had a, hmm, I, I guess you call it like, like a love hate relationship with cross country because it was something that I was very good at, but I didn't always like doing it. You know, I, you know, I, I didn't like doing practices too much, but I loved it every Saturday when we had the meets and we were going for ribbons and medals. So, cause I, I have a whole closet full of my stuff, which actually, hold on. Okay, and just just to do just to do a little show and tell, uh, so this is my collection uh, from my time running cross country back in the day, um, which I'll just say, shout out to Coach Spoon for those back home. Y'all know Coach Spoon was a legend, and he, you know, put in lots of work and lots of dedication to teach us to be good at getting all of these so shout out to everybody back home and shout out to coach spoon you know rest in peace we love you we miss you and you know i'm gonna do a separate episode sorry i'm knocking over stuff <laughs> but uh but I'll, I'll do a separate episode at a later date um uh, probably sometime in the fall because that feels appropriate because that's when i used to run cross country but i'll do a separate episode talking about you know, my whole journey and experience and expand a bit more on, you know, the legacy of Coach Spoon and everything that he meant to, you know, us back home. But yeah, so like I said, we're mainly here for Janae though. You I know, like I said, yeah, what's I up? Have, I have a question. Yes. So are those medals all in state and regional and stuff? No. So majority of these are like, I'm trying to think, regular meets and lots of district meets. So I don't think I never I never went to state in cross country. I went to regionals all four years, but ever but I never placed in cross country with regionals. So you know I think uh, I'm trying to think I think what was the highest I ever got? I think in cross country I think the highest I might have ever gotten was like hmm, maybe seventy something. Because so when so when we ran cross country, um, so for for those who don't know, uh, cross country is basically just long distance running. Is basically so when you start off in high school, it's usually you start off with two miles, but majority of my years I was doing the three miles, and so the so usually whenever we ran those races, it would be I'm trying to think like. 150 plus people running at the same time or something like that. It was, it was definitely well over 100 people. So definitely way bigger than, you know, than, than y'all's races and stuff. So yes, yes, it's, it's a lot of people. Um, and so, uh, cause, cause most of the time with, with y'all's races, if there is a lot of people in y'all's races, they usually split y'all up into heats and stuff, but cross country, we don't have that. They they just have everybody just line up and they blow the whistle or fire the gun and then everybody just go. Um, so, and plus in cross country, you know, we're not, well, for the most part, we're not running on the track. We're running like through the woods and it, we run through all different types of environments and stuff. So, so cross country, so it's a bit more, uh, uh, mm, hardcore is not the right word. Wild Yes, yeah, there's definitely a lot more wildness going on because you're running through woods and trees and forests and all different types of environments and stuff. So, um, so it's definitely a uh, cross country is definitely a whole different, I'll say a whole different beast compared if, to regular track. If there's probably like animals and stuff in the forest, mm -hmm. well, maybe, maybe some squirrels. <laughs> Not, nothing too crazy. We're, we're not running through like bears and wolves and stuff luckily let's hope some people don't do that no no nah. luckily no yeah they they you know try to be a bit more safe <laughs> in cross country but um but yeah um 
But yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna cat scratch you up or something. That's good. But um, but yeah, like I said, you know, Janae, she's been doing the track stuff for many, many, many years. Um, and you know, I guess you know back 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 when back when we started doing the sports stuff. Yes. Uh, so my my four oldest kids, um, everybody did everything. So everybody did basketball and everybody did track. So you know, but just over the years, you know, we took a break at some point around the time when my youngest Vash was born. We took like a year or so break, and then when we came back, you know, we let everybody pick what they wanted to do, and so Janae chose track, and her twin sister chose basketball. So, you know, oh, and yes, for, for those who didn't already know, you know, Janae has a twin sister. You go uh, sure. Oh. This is my now there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so like I said, Janae and Janai, my, my lovely twin daughters. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like I said, so basically the reason why we brought you in, we were just explaining that, you know, when y'all were smaller, everybody did everything. <laughs> And then, you know, we, uh, you know, we split, you know, everybody split up, you know, one of y'all chose track, the other one chose basketball and stuff. So, um, actually, you know what, because since you're here, uh, a, a, a funny joke that happens literally every track meet, just because she used to run track, the coaches always pick with her like, hey, are you going to run today? Uh, so what, what made you choose track over basketball or um. basketball over track, I mean? Because I thought basketball was way funner because you got to really shoot mm-hmm. and you got to like do things with a lot of people. And okay. you also get to do tricks. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. Hey. Hey. Ain't nothing, wrong, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know. But that you know that that that's one of the reasons why why me and my wife, their mom, while well, we had that talk with everybody of like, hey, you know, who wants to do what because, you know, we didn't want everybody to feel like they were obligated to do everything and especially being twins you know (laughs) we you know we definitely wanted to make sure that you know they didn't feel like they had to do one thing or another just because the other one was doing it so you know so but well fraternal twins fraternal twins so (laughs) but um but you know just wanted to make sure you know that everybody even though you know even though they are twins you know just showing that like hey you know they are their own person and they all have things that they like that the other one might not like or they might want to do. Or one of y'all might want to do something that the other one doesn't want to do. Correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, you know, since, since, since y'all are here, you know, we'll just kind of explain all this, whatever. How does it feel to be a twin? It feels fun. Yeah, because you actually have someone to get teachers and so confused. <laughs> you like confusing your teachers? Yeah. <laughs> and you get to do things with them. Okay. Yeah. Is, is it like always having a friend nearby? Yeah. yeah. Okay. See. Even though we do fight sometimes. That's natural, you know. Uh, you know, so sometimes, you know, that that's kind of like the... Uh, the double-edged sword of, you know, always having somebody with you, you know, of course, you know, sometimes you're going to disagree or, you know, uh, not like the same things or whatever. But, you know, that's also the thing about being a person, being your own person, you know, is having your own identity and having your own things that, uh, you know, that you want to do and stuff. Now, Janai, since, you know, they started off talking about uh, Janae with her track stuff or whatever. How does it feel with, with your sister going to be going to state later in the month? How do you feel about that? It feels exciting because it's going to be her second time mm-hmm. going to state. Mm-hmm. And I hope she does very good because last time she did really good. But this time I want her to try her best to do better. Yep. Cause, yeah, because last time I got eighth place. Yes, that that, that is a... Uh, that is a very important piece we forgot to tell. Um, is that last time when we when she went to state two years ago, she actually got eighth. So, which is a very huge accomplishment, you know, of you know, just putting just trying to put that into scope of you being one of the or like the eighth fastest person in the whole state of Texas. And plus, um out of 
like 20 something people yeah out of 20 something people that ran at that event you know which like i said that 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 is very very awesome um i, I, I didn't even think i don't even know where is that is that metal in your room somewhere which one your state metal you mean the big old one yeah the one you got in state i think it is the one you got I thought it was a, like a birthday. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you got a medal for that one. I can go check. Yeah. Hold on, real quick. Okay. I stand corrected. It was a ribbon, but a very whoops, very nice, awesome Hello. ribbon. Okay. But uh, yeah. Can we so. show them these? Yeah. And so. then we also got this one's yours for me. Yeah. We also got. Six first place ribbons, and then it's actually a lot more than that because that's not all of them. Because some of them I have over on my table, but yeah, that's and fine. then we have one second place medal, and then, her and then I got one fourth place, yeah. and then a seventh place, which I think I did pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then oh, here's, sorry. yeah. So this is from when I was in ba basketball. Yeah. Well, I still am. It's from my last championship game. Yes. So I made it to the championship, but we got second place, so we got this. Yep, and that's very awesome. So we get in medals and stuff all up in this house. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, one 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 day we might have to do a. Uh, a, a bigger video with everybody because of a uh, because you know along with these two they also have an older brother who also plays basketball and he also has a lot of ribbons and some medals and some trophies and stuff as well so and andre got his first yes and guy. i think it was it wasn't a metal ribbon yep and they're like i mentioned earlier you know my uh eight-year-old their younger brother um, th you know, this is first year running track, so he's also started collecting his own, his own set of ribbons and stuff as well. So, you know, we, we need to find a, uh, get like a display case for yeah. all these medals and ribbons and stuff and trophies. And on Andre's first 800, mm -hmm. he ever ran in the track meet, he got first place. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. No, it's fine. Right. Um Oh, yeah, because I'm going a bit long on this. But, uh, but yeah, so it's been very awesome to do. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let, let's, let's actually, yeah, let's do something. Right. Okay, so we're back. And so I decided, decided to just keep expanding this. So now we have Andre with us. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the show, uh, this is Andre's first year running track. And so, like I said, he did very awesome this year in his first year. So, Andre, how does it feel? Okay. Running track now. Hard. Hard. It's hard. Even <laughs> and fun. And, and fun. Andre, you got to get better because you have to run track to play soccer. If you want to play soccer still. I do. Yeah. Okay. So playing soccer is a has been a lifelong goal for Andre. And so doing track is kind of the first step of potentially, you know, getting to doing that. Goofy. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> stop, silly. <laughs> uh, it's fine. All right. But, uh, but yeah, so, like I said, we just wanted to just talk and celebrate an awesome year, awesome weekend of, you know, doing stuff. Um, so, how, how, how did it feel going to regionals for the first time? It was hot, hot. Now you're almost getting heated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, we that, did. that is very accurate. It was very hot because, you know, like I mentioned before, we are here in Texas, so y'all know that Texas heat is nothing to play with. So, uh, so yeah, so that's why we have to have a big cooler full of water and Gatorades and snacks and stuff because, yeah, it, it is very hot. Because we were there for hours. Yes, yeah, we were typically there at least four to five hours usually on whenever we do track stuff so um and of course this weekend because of how they had regional split up you know they uh regionals and state 
they usually have things split up across multiple days. So like girls ran Friday, then boys ran Saturday. And so, you know, that was like five hours a piece each day um, from like 8 a.m. to about 1 p.m. Just being out in the heat. Well, um, some, some boys ran Friday and some girls ran Saturday. Yes, yes. So certain events, they, they did mix the days up. Like high jump and the miles. Yes. So, yeah, like the field events and like the super long distance stuff. Um, Andre, um, what has been what has been your favorite part of doing track <laughs> stuff so far? Me. Uh, I'm learning, making new friends, and getting better. Okay. Yeah, you, you you have definitely been making lots of new friends. I can definitely say that. Mm-hmm. All right, Goofy. This is gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> So all these all these faces they're gonna be in there. So all your goofy faces. But uh, but yeah, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Whenever you're doing sports and stuff, um, it is definitely a very awesome way to you know meet lots of new people. And especially whenever you're doing a lot of these events, you're going to always be a lot of times seeing a lot of the same people at all the different events. So you also get to make lots of friends from other teams and stuff. So. Um, so yeah, so that, that's definitely a fun thing. Uh, let me see. Um, Andre, do you have any questions that you want to ask Janae <laughs> about track? <laughs> so Janae, how is it practicing with the big kids? I mean, it's okay. It's hard because we always have to do like 800s in the morning and stuff like that. The reason why I don't like practicing with the, um, because I have to run a 600, which is more than an 800. Well, no, no the 600 is like a lap and a half. Mm-hmm. 800 is two laps. Remember so, like, it's Coach, just 200 less. Remember, Coach said that it was two laps, and then you have to make it to that consistent. That's, Coach yeah, but said. That, that, that's not a six, that's 600, like she said, because think about it. 800 is the bigger number, so 800 is two laps. 600 is going around once, and then half of a lap. Coach Matt said this was a, like what Andre said, two laps and then a half is a thousand. Yes. He made us do that. Mm-hmm. Man, I literally had to go straight to the restroom. <laughs> Dude, I, I almost got dead. <laughs> I mean, it was, the thousand is actually really hard to do. Yes. Yeah, because you're starting to get close to getting closer to running an actual mile at that point yeah and plus the it the thousand helps with the 800 yep all right now janae do you have any questions you want to ask andre hmm don't do what <laughs> i already know what you're gonna ask me okay what do i gonna ask yeah i don't want to say it um let's see how is it like to, hmm, <laughs> what? I don't even know. <laughs> Do you have any questions for him? I, I have one, but, okay, 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 chill, chill, chill. <laughs> How is it like to work with the little kids? Easy, fun, and also kind of hard to... We have to sometimes run 400s. In, in and out? And yeah. Stuff like that. It's, it's tiring. Or... I mean, it would be, it's easy because y'all get, y'all get to do less stuff. Oh, you right? want to see how it is with the younger kids? She, she, she's already been there, man. She, 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 she has been with the, with the younger kids for a long time. Yeah. So. You want to come back and try it out? mm Only for one day. Nope. Not happening. Mm-hmm. Abby, can you convince her? Sorry, can't do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, overall, you know, like I said, just wanted to just do this little talk interview with them to, like I said, just uh, some congratulations on a great summer of hard work. Um, you know, like I said, we still have a little bit more work to do. You know, like I said, we got um, Janae has steak coming up. In two weeks. Let's hope I at least get top six again. The same for it. You know, you 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 you've done it before, uh, or you've you've at least you know gotten in the top ten before. So yeah. we'll shoot to do that, if not better. Um, stop, Andre. Okay. 
I think I'll stretch that are out. Are we about to end this? Uh, yeah, a second. Okay, okay. Hold on, one second. Okay, we're back. Um, Andre has left us, and so has Janai. So, just, just back down to us to uh, to wrap it up. Um, and also, Mommy just came in the room. Um, I guess you want to give a shout out to to Mommy's. A shout out to Raining Crystal, and make sure you go buy some jewelry, bracelets, and necklaces from her. Yep. So yeah. So yeah. My my awesome wife. She, as Janae just said, she uh, has a shop called Raining Crystals. Um, you can look it up on Instagram, and she has pictures of all the different jewelry that she be making. So check it out. Get you some awesome jewelry. Oh, yeah, and make sure you subscribe to him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yes, of course, make sure to subscribe to me. Um, and, yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, you have any other any final thoughts or anything before we wrap things up. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and to all the people who run track or do any sports, I shout out to y'all. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, for sure. You know, like like I said, um, doing this stuff takes a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of dedication, and every day isn't going to be the easy. Isn't going to be easy. There's going to be some days where you're going to be tired. You're going to be sore. But as Janae said, hey, shout out to everybody. Um, you can definitely do it. And, you know, if, if there's any parents out there watching, you know, I encourage you, you know, hey, get your kids involved in something um, just because you never know, you know, uh, what they might be able to do. Because honestly, we, you know, we didn't know, you know, six years ago when when we first put Janae, you know, into or any of the kids into the various sports and stuff like who would end up liking what or who would be good in what. But hey, here we are six years later and I said I'm gonna do track all all wait. Hmm? <laughs> all of all my life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we we've been doing this for a long time and you know, hopefully we'll continue to keep doing this, you know, as as long as you know, as long as Janae wants to do it, you know, me me and me and my wife, her mother will be there to support you and everybody else along the way so you know um like i said we got a couple of weeks of some hard practices coming up to get ready for state and so who knows maybe we may, we might be back here in a couple of weeks reporting on how things went with that but yeah um hopefully y'all enjoyed this first interview you know like i said we might i might try to do this more often with everybody, um, you know, like I said, especially around, uh, you know, big events or tournaments or whatever the case may be, because um, we, we do this stuff all year round, you know, basketball, and now we're about to probably be doing track stuff all year round as well, because, you know, this is our first year. She also started doing a little bit of uh, AAU track as well, so, so yeah, so that, that's about to be, you know, a whole nother beast as well but we're going to focus on what's in front of us at the moment and yeah so like i said thank you all for listening to this for watching um like i said if if, if you are just listening to this on the podcast feed go to my youtube channel danny's to talk and check out the video because there is a video of this um so you can watch the video or listen to it on the podcast and yeah, we'll be back for many more adventures and things. So, so um, thank you, Janae, for joining me today on this. And thank you for letting me join. Oh yeah, of <laughs> course, anytime. Um, you know, doing doing this podcast stuff has been very fun and very awesome for me to do. Um, and it's also been very fun, you know, getting to do stuff with my lovely children. Um, so yeah, so who knows? You you might hear us see us again for maybe more sports stuff, maybe talking about some movies, or who knows what? Because we we are always doing something. We are always up to some new adventure, and yeah, um, yeah. Catch you guys later. So like, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And hit that notification bell. <laughs> yes, definitely hit that as well. So yeah, so. Much love to everybody and catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Peace.